Kling like. Hi, it's Ed, also known as Mono Mamori. Welcome back to another bass lesson. The song at this time is Butterfly from the band Crazy Town. It's a pretty iconic song from the 2000s and uh, it's probably the best hit of the band. So in this video we're gonna learn how to play the riff. It's basically one riff repeated over and over again for three minutes and a half. Also we're gonna see some live versions of the song because I noticed that the bass player is doing some different stuff in the live versions. With all said, let's go. So first of all the tuning is standard tuning. So on my five strings bass is B, E, A, D, G. You can even play it on a four strings bass, just uh, remove the lowest uh, B string. So I've noticed that uh, the right hand you can play it uh, in uh, two different uh, ways. You can play it on arpeggio like uh, this, or you can play it upwards. And starts with this shape, and uh, it's open A string. 14th fret of the D string and 17th fret of the G string. Then uh, moving uh, a half step uh, uh, below the G string, the 16th fret of the G string. Then moving a whole step, the 14th fret of the G string. So it's like... And the bar starts with the open A string, so it's like... Then after that you play the open A string and the 14th fret and then again downwards, so it's like... I've noticed that because uh, I've slowed down the first uh, seconds of the song and uh, I've noticed that the pattern is uh, this one. The second bar starts with the uh, power chord of uh, C and the power chord of D, which is basically 15th fret of the A string, 17th fret of the D string and 17th fret of the G string. Then moving a whole step uh, above, 17th fret of the A string, 19th fret of the G string and 19th fret of the D string. So it's like... Then the first bar repeats, which is uh, always the same. And then we're having this shape. which is basically like a C sus uh, 6 probably. D sus 6, C sus 6, it's even harder to say it. And it's basically 15th fret of the A string, 15th fret of the D string, uh, 14th fret of the G string, then 17th fret of the A string, 17th fret of the D string and 16th fret of the D, G string, sorry. So it's like... Uh, always played upwards and I've noticed that there is a um, slide with a lettering. So with that said let's jump on my Cubase project and uh, let's play along with the track. Firstly let's play on the slow version of the song and then we're gonna play to the um, fast song, the normal speed song. This is basically the main riff, so let's jam along with the original track. Try. 
this is basically the, the same riff over and over again. So you get the idea. So let's analyze some live version of the song. So the first live we're gonna see, it's live at Snow Job in Canada, 2001. You can find the links in the video description. And uh, let's take a listen first, then we're gonna talk about what uh, I'm listening and what uh, is actually playing, because uh, there's a little fragment where you can see the bass player uh, fingers uh, are not uh, in the same uh, position that we saw before. So let's take a listen. So as you saw in the first moments of the video, he's uh, playing here, like uh, this uh, weird chord, and uh, here. So he's playing these chords, or something like that. And the first part of the first uh, bar is played an octave below. So instead of... Uh, he's probably playing uh, here. Or probably here. Let's try to play along. Playing uh, like this, uh, and uh, I've noticed that uh, in the both uh, live versions, uh, he's not playing always the same thing. He's uh, variating to get some different flavors, and uh, it's a cool thing to to hear live. There's another common section in uh, the two live versions. Uh, there's a moment when the rappers uh, stops uh, singing, and the bass player is playing some uh, uh, like uh, something like that. He's playing like uh, something like that, that is uh, a, a pentatonic scale, nothing that uh, crazy. He's basically playing uh, the open A, the 7th fret of the D string and the 5th fret of the D string, even 5th fret of the G string. So let's play along. The bass is very, very low tone, has a very interesting tone. So yeah, he's doing some different things uh, in the live version and uh, he's basically mixing uh, these uh, parts uh, that uh, we're seeing as uh, he likes to. And it's, uh, it's a very interesting uh, thing to add uh, in a live version. And even in the other live version that uh, we're gonna see later, he's playing the same thing in the same part. The other thing that he was playing is the 10th fret of the D string. Uh, ninth fret of the D string and uh, uh, seventh fret of the D string, which is the same thing, an octave below of uh, and then uh, which is uh, twelfth fret of the G string and tenth fret of the D string and uh, which is fourteenth fret of the G string and. Uh, 12th fret of the D string. With the sound that I'm hearing, probably this part uh, he could have played uh, here. But I'm not sure. That's not the, um, the tone, the, the sound that uh, I'm hearing. And of course, uh, this is a 2001 uh, recorded uh, live version, so the sound is not the best quality. <laughs> then the other live version that we're gonna hear is the uh, live in Berlin. Let's take a listen and then we're gonna talk about it. He's 
basically doing some things on the previous live version that we saw before. Uh, it's probably playing the first part uh, with an octave below. Then uh, it's probably playing uh, some shorts here or or even which is the same notes you can hear that uh, it's very uh, a low tone uh, C and D not uh, <laughs> here is playing pro is probably playing uh, two different things in the when the drums uh, uh, starts uh, is playing uh, probably higher the sound quality is uh, what it is you can even see the bass that is disappearing from the screen <laughs> and reappearing I can hear he's playing a high playing low here he's playing high Playing high. These are the things that he can variate. He can play low and he can play high. And uh, he's uh, variating to do something different uh, every time. We're gonna see the part when the rapper uh, stops singing. The bass tone. Oh. Yeah, he's doing uh, always the... Then... Or... Let's play along! So this was uh, how to play Butterfly from Crazy Town. It's always cool to see some live versions of the song because you can understand uh, the needs of uh, some uh, musicians. Probably the bass player was getting annoyed of uh, playing the same uh, in here. So you know he was uh, like uh, researching uh, some uh, things to play differently to enjoy more what he was playing probably as i said uh, i link uh, the live versions down here in the description so you can uh, take a listen to and uh, if you want to give me your opinion i would love that because this is my perspective as always uh, thank you so much for watching and passing by if you're new here please consider to subscribe to the channel it helps me to make uh, more content uh, like this uh, in the future leave a like uh, and a comment uh, let me know what you think of uh, these live versions quick reminder is that you can get the tabs uh, that i've shown here on the video on my discord server for free links in the video description and stay on the server because i'll upload the, the tabs uh, before the video comes out so yeah thanks again and i will see you soon in the next video peace